Whew. We have been doing some hard climbing this summer, trying to get out of the series of steep stock market falls that we had in June. So when we slid into that, by the way, did we actually hit rock bottom back there? or is there an even steeper plunge somewhere still ahead of us? That matters if you have an IRA or a 401k nest egg that you're trying to protect as you navigate all of this. Uh, well, MarketWatch just reported on a new analysis about that. First off, you might be surprised by how they started off pointing out that the biggest owner of stocks is not all the giant corporations and it's not the hedge fund managers who wheel and deal huge sums on Wall Street. It's households that directly own more than half of the shares in the stock market. Individual people are now holding on to more than $38 trillion in stocks, and they haven't let go of them by panic selling, even with this summer's market plunges. That is different because this examination shows that since 2000, the other two times that the market absolutely tanked, represented where the yellow line here plunges, regular investors represented here by the blue lines followed the trend and liquid Dated, sold their stocks and got out. But this time they haven't yet. Yeah, they used that word, writing that stocks haven't hit a bottom yet because households are still holding on to their investments, at least for now. Does that change in the months ahead? Who knows? Just proceed cautiously and follow me at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook and Twitter, where we're trying to navigate this and end up right on the money.